And welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of... Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Michaela Loves Gymnastics, part of the Loves Gymnastics brand. How are you guys doing today? That's right. You guys get a very retro intro for those who've been watching this show for a long time. Y'all remember when I used to do that all the day on time, right? Keats and Gackles. Today's episode, though, we are going to be discussing the top Five most overrated coaches, coaches in USA Gymnastics history. Now, once again, I have to preface this video like I always do with saying all opinions are my own. Um, if you disagree, please drop down in the comment, leave a like, leave a message, heart the video, subscribe to the channel, drop your girl a super chat if you really appreciate the video. Drop your girl a super thanks if you really appreciate the video. All the love and effort is always appreciated, you guys. So, your girl had to bring her braids back because it's too hot in Florida for all these damn wigs and shit. So, with that being said, but this is a wig too, so don't get it twisted. With, with that being said, we are going to be discussing our top five most overrated coaches in USA Gymnastics, according to me, Michaela Love gymnastics. And we're going to start off the list with number five. At number five on the list, we have John Getter. John Getter is the infamous coach of Jordan Weber, but that's it. That's his only accolade in the sport of gymnastics is Jordan Weber. He has not another girl he sent to the Olympic Games, but sending a girl to the Olympic Games is a huge accolade. So we're not going to that's the only reason he's not number one on the list, because he did get Jordan to the Olympic Games. But let's not forget all of the shenanigans that was going on at his gym that he allowed to happen. Let's not forget that this bitch-ass nigga decided to RIP himself instead of facing judge and jury in the courthouse because he knew once he took his ass to the courthouse that he was going to be right in the jail to the right next to them Larry Nassar bitch because how dare you be the head coach of a gym you hire Larry Nassar to be the personal coach to all of your gymnasts so imagine all of the shit that we've heard of with USA Gymnastics has to be amplified by a thousand when it comes to his particular gym at number five the most the fifth most overrated coach in USA Gymnastics history, according to Michaela Loves Gymnastics, John Getter. At number four on the list, we have Tom Forster. Tom Forster was the coach of Teresa Korkowski, 1996 Olympic alternate. He was the coach of Donnie Thompson, 1995 world team member. And he was also the coach for a brief time of Carrie Strug. That's it. Those are his accomplishments in gymnastics. So for this man to have gotten the position of national team coordinator was a travesty, was ridiculous, and was uncalled for. Um, now, I will say this with Tom Forster. I will say this. I think his voice in gymnastics is still needed. And I do wish he was still at USA Gymnastics, just not the head coach of USA Gymnastics. I'm sorry, to get the job of head coach, national team coordinator, you should have some kind of accomplishments. You should have some kind of something so the people can trust you into picking and making the correct decisions. And that's just something that Tom Forster never had. Now, I wish he was like the head of the junior de development um, process or the head of teaching girls skills or something like that because he seems to be good at that. But the actual job of national team coordinator, nah, nah, nah. And it's sad to say this, but you had Simone Biles and you still 
your Olympic team came in second place. Like, nah, sir. Like, get up out of my face with that bullshit. At number four, we have Tom Forster. At number three, we have Steve Rybecki. Now, I know I'm posting a photo with him and his wife and another person. I think it's their son. But Beth Rybecki does not deserve to be on this list. Beth Rybecki was a member of the 1980 Olympic team that got boycotted. So any Olympian who have gathered gymnasts and who brought them to the near the pinnacle of gymnastics and is taking them to the Olympic Games that's, you know, that's what we want, right? We want the older gymnasts to also have a life outside of gymnastics that they can able to have to say. So all the things that Beth Rybecki has accomplished, she does not deserve to go on this list. But her husband, Steve Rybecki, I just don't understand why he has all these positions in USA Gymnastics over her. It's like she was the Olympian. She was the gymnast. Steve, what accomplishments do you got in the sport other than helping ruin Vanessa Atler? Jamie Dandrick to the Olympics? We 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 ain't going to ignore that accomplishment. Y'all absolutely got Jamie Dandrick to the Olympics. But you felt Vanessa Atler. You kind of felt Jamie Dandrew. Like, Jamie Dandrew, the only reason y'all got her to the Olympics is because Vanessa left. Because y'all whole attention was on Vanessa. Um, Y'all got them both to the 1999 World Championships. I think they... No, I know they both were on the World Championship team in 99. You coached Tabitha Yim... To, on the 2020, not 2020, the 2001 world team, y'all coach Tabitha Yim, that's it. So for Steve Rybecki to have all these high-ranking positions in USA Gymnastics, it makes no sense. If it was Beth, it would make perfect sense. But being it Steve, it makes no sense to me. And that's why he and he alone deserves number three on this list. Steve Rybecki. At number two on the list is Break Them Juniors, Valeri Liukin. That's right. I'm saying Valeri Liukin is a very overrated coach. The only young lady that he's gotten in, he's actually coached somebody to the Olympic Championship. So, that's something. But the only girl he did it to was his daughter. And we always got to take that into consideration. Oh, yeah, I remember when he was in Brazil and he was supposed to be the head coach over there. Look how that worked out. Look at him in Conor McClain. Look at him in Rebecca Bross. Look at him in Caitlin Ohashi. Look at him in most of his gymnasts. Most of his gymnasts, he breaks them, and then whatever college they go to have to completely repair their gymnastics completely. Valeria Liukin is a joke in gymnastics as far as coaching. I personally don't think he was that great of a Soviet gymnast, but look at it. He was a Soviet gymnast, you guys. He literally was a product of the worst system, but the most successful system in U.S., in not USA, but gymnastics history, you guys. So how do we expect him not to train and coach the way that he was trained and coached? Like, come on, one plus one equals two, like, and for all the parents that send their daughters to Valeri, please watch this video. This man is not that dude, like, Take your daughter elsewhere because, and the thing is with Valeri, I think a lot of his success, a lot of the Woga brand comes from other people because he he is put it to the forefront as like the head of Woga's gymnastics. And I think Woga gymnastics does belong to him. I think it is his intellectual property. But Cardi Patterson was coached by Yevgeny Marchenko, not him. Madison Cochin was coached by Cecilia Laron. 
not him. He gets a lot of the credit. Hell, even Sky Blakely is a woga gymnast that he, for whatever reason, has nothing to do with, but gets the credit for. Like, Valeria Liukin is a very talented, talented man. I think his voice is needed and necessary to USA Gymnastics. But for us to act, turn a blind eye to all of his failures as a coach is asinine, it's ridiculous, and it's playing in people's faces. Like, Valery Lukin was a great Soviet gymnast. Not in my opinion, but in the opinion of the peoples, he was a great Soviet gymnast. But as a coach, if you don't if you haven't sprout out of his loins, you're going to be broken, weak, injured, training on injuries. Like, and I'm saying all of this and my favorite, my second favorite gymnast of all times is currently, possibly, used to be, who knows, training with them people. So, At number two, Valeria Liuka. The number one most overrated coach in USA Gymnastics history to me is this motherfucker right here. And let me explain why. Don't throw the tomatoes at me. I know. I know some of y'all admire this man. Y'all hate the way he coached. Y'all think he was an evil, cruel motherfucker. But all of his accomplishments, y'all admire this man to the T. But let me get something to y'all. Let me tell y'all something, daughter. Let me tell you something, sister. Let me tell you something, niece. Don't be fooled by a thief in the night. Because this man right here ain't do shit. But be on TV, be a comedy, be a character, and be a clown. Other than maybe, other than maybe Nadia Komenich. But even with Nadia Komenich, we got to remember, he wasn't her everyday head coach. He was the head coach of Romanian gymnastics. So he be- be- he basically was what Marta Caroli was, where he gathered all of the girls and pit teams and stuff like that. He was behind the desk. He wasn't the actual coach of the Romanian team, even though that was the position that he fought for because he was such a character. And in night, and then he moved to America, right? And then he produced Mary Lou Renton and Diane Durham. And I'm not going to take those accomplishments away from him, but I will say, I promise y'all, I believe Marta Caroli, once again, the wife had more to do with those girls being successful gymnasts than it was him. The way Bella Caroli coached is he picked a team of very great coaches around him and he just took credit for everything that they did. Fortunately for USA Gymnastics, they saw past that bullshit and gave Marta Caroli the job of national team coordinator instead of this damn character. Which he, which we would have been in third and second places, and he would have been acting like we was, we was on the king of the hill. No, like Marta Caroli was a cruel, evil, nasty ass bitch, and I'm not fed to sit up here and defend her. But I will say this bitch was stood on her business when it came to picking motherfucking teams. That's something that y'all notice. I ain't picked not one female coach on this list. I'm going to do another list for female coaches. But on this list, the thing with these men coaches, they don't understand women gymnastics, right? They are all characters. They are all clowns. They are all buffoonery. And for whatever reason, NBC, for whatever reason, NBC. Did I say that? Let me say that again. For whatever reason, NBC takes these men and put them in the forefront of women's gymnastics. If you were such a great coach, Bella, Valeri, all of these other men, why don't you take your talents to the men's side of things and over there in fifth day programs? Because you should be able to translate because you were men gymnasts. So you should be able to translate. But no, the issue is the reason why, and Bella Corolla, you are the king of this, and Valeria, you are the second best king of this, but, but Bella, you were the king of this. You took these little girls at 12, 11, and 13 and terrorized them girls 
terrorized them. Them girls did not love gymnastics. They were afraid of your ass, bitch. And their parents was bamboozled. You were a character. You were a clown. You were up there able to, oh my God, and your daughter is going to be the Olympic champion and, and, and feed all these damn parents, all these lies, all of this bullshit. Bella Caroli, you are one of the reasons why USA Gymnastics is so corrupt to this day because all of these coaches saw what you was doing and they was like, hey, if it works for Bella, let me do it, bitch. So this is why these coaches have this 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 total and complete dominance and you must listen to me and I must, I must be able to control what the girls eat, sleep, shit, piss, who they talk to, who they friends with. And basically you turn these girls from little girls into damn soldiers for gymnastics. Gymnastics is not the motherfucking military, bitch. Gymnastics is gymnastics. Gymnastics is supposed to be a fun sport. Yes, competitive. Yes, competitive. Yes, hard. But it's not the damn military, Bella Caroli. And that's what you and Marta tried to do. It said, but Marta was successful. Marta actually got... And, and if you ask the girls, they would say Marta understood how to teach us skills. Marta was an evil bitch, but she understood how to get us to where we needed to go. You, Bella Caroli, you just hired... Alexandra Alexandrov, Steve Nuno, all of these other young men and women who actually knew what the fuck they were doing. Basically, you ran the NCAA program, bitch. Like, you was just Valerie Kondo's field, bitch. Like, that's it. You was just the name of USA Gymnastics, the face. You were not that dude as a coach, Bella Caroli. You and your gym got Mary Lou to the gold medal. You and the Romanian system got Nadia Comaneci and the Romanians. They were up there throwing hands with the Soviets back there in the 70s. I'll give y'all that. But in America, you produce Mary Lou Ram. Not you, your gym. Not you, your gym produced Mary Lou Ram. Not you, your gym. Well, this one was you. Kim Zemesco winning the 1991 World Championships. Yeah, that was all you, Bella Curly, because you politic, you positions, and you got that girls, them scores that. Shout out to Wally and the SOV. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. You, oh, you had it. GC ch- channel because, bitch. He broke down the 1991 World Championships and just proved that on on standing on business, Svetlana Boganskaya should have been the world champion. Svetlana Boganskaya should have been the first person to win the world champion back-to-back. Standing on business, Kim Zemesco. And Kim Zemesco, you deserve to be on a separate list of worst coaches of USA Gymnastics history. And that's the list I'm going to work on next, probably. The women's side of the worst coaches, because I'm not for the bypass y'all bitches either y'all is horrible but anyways back to Bella Bella Caroli you are the most overrated coach in all of USA Gymnastics history thank you thank you thank you thank you for what little accomplishments that you got your history of coaching you got some big coaches you got um, Nadia Comaneci in Romania you got Diane Durham, the first African-American person to win national champions. You got Mary Lou Retton, the first American to win a gold medal at the Olympic Games. You got the whole 1984 Olympic team that came in second place at the Olympic Games. Then you got the 19... Um, oh, gosh, what's the young lady? You got the young lady who won the bronze medal on beam in 1988. Her name escapes me right now. I'm so sorry. Um, then you have Kim Zemesco who won Worlds you have Betty Okino and then your last hurrah was Carrie and Dominique Muciano but all of those accomplishments belong to somebody else the 1996 Olympic team that's Marta Caroli all Marta Caroli Kim and Betty I'm going to give them to Marta and Alexandra, Ale- Alexandra, Alexandra, who was over there with you at those current moments in time. I don't know who else you had coaching behind 
But I'm pretty sure Marta is the one who taught Diane and Mary Lou's skills. You were just the face of Crowley Gymnastics. I feel confident in saying that you, Bella Crowley, are the most overrated coach in USA Gymnastics history. Child, y'all let me do this whole video with not a stitch of makeup on. Fuck y'all. Y'all ain't shit. Y'all ain't shit. Y'all know I'm transgender, girl. Y'all know I need to put on some kind of makeup to get on camera, girl. Girl, y'all let this girl do this whole video with not a stitch of makeup on, girl. Y'all are shady. Y'all are shady queens. Anyways, that is my list of the top five most overrated coaches in USA Gymnastics history. What do you guys think? Please leave an opinion. Drop down in the comment section. Like, share, and subscribe to the video. If you made it to this point in the video, please let me know. What female coaches would you like to see on the next video? I love you guys. Thank y'all for tuning in. And I'll see you guys soon. I'll see you guys in the next episode of <laughs> Michaela Loves Gymnastics. Hey, poor lawyer. Thank you. Y'all see this bitch. Bye, everybody. Michaela Loves Gymnastics.